Pledge allegiance to the flag. Prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América. To the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation. One nation. One nation. One nation. Under God. Indivisible. For liberty and justice for all. Hi, I'm Kathy Hebda, Chancellor of the Florida College System. The annual Phi Theta Kappa Awards ceremony is an opportunity to honor those students who go above and beyond and truly excel. While the ceremony might be slightly different this year, the heartfelt congratulations and support remain immune to the pandemic. This year is special for another reason. It is the 100th anniversary of the creation of the membership pin. Designed in 1921, as you know, it is a blue triangle containing three Greek letters surrounded by pearls. A pearl seems an appropriate symbol for many of you in your academic and scholastic life. A barnacled outer shell, strengthened after many late nights studying, balancing work and family, and the vicissitudes of life, especially life as we've experienced it this year, that bring great pain and great joy. Then when you peel back that shell, you get that slimy layer. It represents the daily grind, the stresses, the times it felt like you'd never get to the finish line. That pearl really seemed out of reach. But today, you have your pearl. Today's recognition is a testament to the hard work and perseverance and the irreplaceable value of what you've earned. Soon, You'll be joining the workforce in a new career, attending a state college or university, and you should be excited for the future that's available to you here in Florida. For the fifth straight year, Florida's higher education system was ranked number one in the nation. And our system of two-year degree and credentialing programs was ranked number two in the nation. And we continue to lead the nation as the most affordable state to advance your educational dreams. Florida is more than the Sunshine State. Florida is leading, growing, and needs the time and talents of each one of you. I'm looking out at future scientists, engineers, writers, programmers, storytellers, and so much more. I'm looking at the future of Florida, and I am really encouraged by what I see. While we gather today in the virtual world, make no mistake, 
we are returning to the real world. And I know all of you will be ready and willing to keep moving this state forward. I want to thank Phi Theta Kappa for their mission, their work, and their commitment to the education of our students. And I also want to congratulate all of the award recipients today and wish you all the very best in your future. Thank you for the opportunity to address you today. Hello, I'm Florida's Education Commissioner, Richard Corcoran. I want to congratulate each of you, first, on your academic achievements, and second, on being a role model and an example of citizenship. The concept of citizenship first arose in towns and city-states of ancient Greece. The philosopher Plato's idealized community was one of citizens building common bonds. Aristotle expanded on this definition by making citizenship essential to our humanity. To be truly human, Aristotle believed one had to be an active citizen in the community. The concept of active participatory citizenship coupled with modern ideas of equality and personal responsibility are reflected in the education you have received and will receive as you continue your next steps in lifelong learning and success in our great state. Each of us has a duty to be a productive, law-abiding, and self-regulating member of society as a whole. The awards you are receiving today that show your self-discipline in academics, your heart in community service, and your drive to accomplish both show all of us that you are role models for those around you. I'm honored to address you today. I'm excited about the future because America and our college system produces citizens like you. Congratulations to all of you. In a historic and landmark year in human history, it is with awe that I find myself introducing this occasion today, celebrating our United PTK achievements. This year's event ironically coincides with when the first Phi Theta Kappa chapter celebrated similar achievements in the midst and aftermath of the Spanish flu in Missouri throughout 1918-1919. From a society of eight inaugural chapters in one state to an international society with over 1,300 chapters and over 3.5 million members, we have come a long way. Taking history as our guide, we have a long way to go and many students left to honor. While we are unfortunate to celebrate our achievements together in the midst of a different pandemic, it no less minimizes the work you and your chapters have accomplished, especially in light of COVID to hold true to the principles of the PTK Honor Society. Such work as transitioning from sitting in front of classes to logging in before everyone else and staying after class for that extra conversation with our professors, talking about everything from quadratic equations to vaccines. We experienced the whirlwind of an election year, and should I say it, why not? Hopefully for the one last time. The unprecedented, pivoting, uncertain times that will come to define our new normal. In the midst of this, I found strength through deep conversations with you, my PTK peers, surrounding the overreaching systemic racism we have faced in our community. Being part of the team that hosted the Intercampus Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Summit, I was honored by the truth and openness between students and faculty. This work was only the beginning, and we have the ear and support of the International Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. This spring, I was selected to represent you as an all-USA scholar because of the work we have all put in. It is humbling especially as I am the only black American on the team. The network we have now as members of PTK allows us to be part of a more significant movement in the path of racial equity. We are the future leaders, and I believe if we work together, we could achieve herd immunity towards inequality. I hope you and your chapters continued success in our future endeavors as we all move forward to new frontiers together. Thank you to PTK, the Florida College System Foundation, its sponsors, and to all of you for the amazing, inspiring work you have and will continue to do for our communities.
Hello, it is an honor for me to be with you today as we celebrate together the accomplishments of our All Florida Academic Team. This past year has been a challenging one for all students, our faculties, and administrators. It was just a little more than a year ago, colleges throughout Florida and the nation made numerous adjustments to the teaching and learning environment in a relatively short period of time. The students we honor today met the challenges of 2020 with energy, strategy for success, and personal determination. Backed by their families, committed faculty, college advisors, and support staff, these students remain focused on their goal to graduate with the highest of honors. They did this while helping their classmates and neighbors by participating in charitable work at food banks, nursing homes, child care centers, and special environmental projects. Today, we honor them. Today, we honor all Phi Theta Kappa chapters across the sunshine state of Florida. Phi Theta Kappa members embrace scholarship, leadership, and service, and serve as positive role models to our students on their campuses. Thanks to all of you for the role you play in campus life. I am proud to be a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Presidential Advisory Board and commend chapter members for their role in the selection of the All Florida Academic Team. I am proud of each and every student in the Florida College System who achieved the distinction of being named to the All Florida Academic Team. Thanks to all of you who have joined us today to honor our scholars. I especially want to thank the Florida College System Foundation and the Division of Florida Colleges who sponsor these special honors each year. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of your semester. Hi, my name is Elias Marcet and I am a member of Pi Theta Kappa Honor Society. I am a bachelor's in cybersecurity student and the founding president of my campus cybersecurity club. Did you know PTK students have a 91% student success rate? Research has shown that strong presidential leadership and support of PTK increases member success and the depth of their college experience. Today, I stand here as Florida's new century workforce pathway scholar and as a representation of the importance of student support. I am excited to recognize the advisors, leaders, and college presidents that supported our journeys, studies, and dreams. Thank you for your commitment to students. This year, more than 500 college presidents were eligible to receive the Paragon Award for new presidents, and Pi Theta Kappa only chose 22 from across the entire country. Paragon Awards are given to new college presidents who have shown strong support of student success by recognizing academic achievement, leadership, and service among high achieving students at their college and for their support of Pi Theta Kappa. Florida has two new presidents who were nominated by their students and are being recognized by Pi Theta Kappa for their outstanding support of their students and Pi Theta Kappa chapters to receive this award. Dr. Georgia Lawrence, Seminole State College of Florida, and Dr. Beverly Moore Garcia, Miami Dade College, West Campus. Once again, congratulations to these two outstanding presidents.